Start streaming. We're connected. All right, everybody. We're on YouTube live and in person. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes for a little bit. All right, I'm going to be. Uh, I got a new piece of uh, tracing paper here. Now let's see if I can figure this out. I got a new, completely new setup here. It's like and I'm, I'm struggling with it. Give me a few seconds. We'll figure it out. All right. So I think there we go. That is the tractor. That's not the tractor we're going to be drawing. Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. We're gonna stop the uh, stop the stream and start it over here on YouTube. There we go. All right, now we should be live on YouTube. Trying this again. All right, so for those who have followed along, bear with me. I have, uh, well, I started off with this this tractor here. This is not what we're gonna be drawing, and. Uh, so we're just going to turn that off, go back here. This is what we're going to be drawing. Let's see, uh, John Deere D. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So that's where we're at. One second. All right, so as far as, I just got asked over on the YouTube, or on the TikTok side, if I have any other Alice Chalmers coming up. I don't. Uh, currently, the only two I have on the drawing board that I've started, I got an outline for this John Deere D, which I'm pretty excited for. It's a really good angle on this tractor. And if you're watching from TikTok, you want a top-down view, go over to YouTube. TikTok doesn't let me do the top-down view, and I don't have a space to put a camera up here to like use my phone. So uh, I'm kind of stuck, kind of stuck right now with YouTube as a better platform. So. Um, I've got this one here, and then I've got a Farmall M that I want to get done this week. Don't tell him. It's going to be my brother's Christmas present along with uh, another one that I drew. That's what, we're going to be, uh, that's what we're going to be doing for the next few. Um, I've drawn that M a few times before, but uh, well, I want to draw it, so we're going to draw it again. <laughs> All right. So for Christmas and my birthday combined, my wife got me a, a MacBook Pro. Now I had one a couple years back, and I loved it. And uh, I've had it for about 10 years, and it completely crashed out on me. And, uh, well, she bought me one this year. And I'm trying to get that set up, so... This, uh, this whole new uh, setup that I'm dealing with here is because of switching computers. So I've been kind of off for a little while here. Haven't done lives. Uh, well, first I was doing Christmas drawings for uh, some folks, so I can't really post those till after Christmas because they paid me to do some drawings, and I, I just can't. If you're going to give it to Christmas, it's not going to spoil your surprise for you, right? If you're going to pay me to do it. Hope you all can hear me all right. I've got a new sound set up here, too. Picked up a lapel mic for the YouTube side. And uh, so far, it's worked really good. But this is my first time trying and live stream. So all the, all the tests that I've done, it worked well. Let me know in the comments if it doesn't work. I'm just going to check over here quick since this is a new thing. All right. Cool. And then we're back. All right. So, just I like drawing these spokes because they're pretty easy to draw. You just put, pick, pick the side with the light source and make that brighter. Pick the side without a light source, make it darker. It's rocket science right there. Uh, <laughs> That's, uh, that's all it is to it. My uh, last drawing I did, I did the entire thing. I've been wanting to do this for a while to try it to see if I could do it. Drew the entire thing without smudging anything, and then I came in at the end and I smudged it all at once. It worked really good. 
I'm not sure how that will translate to uh, your image is reversed. I know uh, TikTok likes to change features for no reason. And uh, it looks like they've taken away the uh, reversed. I can't mirror my lives anymore. I, I don't understand them. They, they take away things because they don't like them. But as an artist, they just keep taking away things that make it beneficial for me. So yeah, everything's reversed. That's what we've got to deal with. Because TikTok took away the mirroring image option. Or at least they moved it to the point where I can't find it. I'd like to find it. If you want to see it not reversed, go over to YouTube. I'm currently on YouTube. That's what that says, even though it's reversed. I'm live on YouTube. YouTube puts the damn thing up where it's supposed to be. <laughs> it doesn't make it reversed. So, dumb. <laughs> I like Alice Chalmers tractors, though. I asked a while ago if I got any more coming up. I can definitely see doing more in the future. Just um, Yeah, so I did some Christmas drawings, right? I started telling the story. I did some Christmas drawings. And then uh, after I finished those, I couldn't post those because it would ruin the surprise. I don't want to do that for somebody. And then after that, I, I got really busy at work for a week because I was going away on vacation the week after that. I didn't have much time either of those weeks. So we uh, went to San Antonio, Texas. That was a good trip. And I uh, had a lot of fun, but I didn't get to draw much. And then I got back. And, you know, I kind of didn't come out of vacation mode here for a few days. <laughs> Been kind of floating around not doing much of anything, and it was kind of nice. I did, uh, did uh, a whole bunch of stuff, but not related. Are you going to do a Christmas truck? I, you know, I want to. I'm thinking about it. When I was down in uh, San Antonio on the way there, we stopped in Waco at the silos, uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines place there. And they had a uh, old Willys Jeep, SUV style Willys Jeep. And uh, it had a Christmas tree strapped to the top of it there by the silos. And it's a really, really cool picture with the uh, tree on top there. And my plan was to draw it. I haven't yet, because this is my first drawing since vacation. That I've gotten back to, and I thought that one might be a little much just to jump right back in off of it out of vacation into that thing. So, therefore, I'm drawing this John Deere because I thought it would be a pretty easy thing to draw to come back to. Thanks for the follow there, Jackson. Appreciate that. If you uh, want some real treat, go over to YouTube and subscribe over there because. Uh, I got a lot of stuff going on over there. More coming soon. Um, I've got a plan for um, telling stories of some of these tractors that I've drawn. Some of them have some amazing stories. And I want to do like a documentary type series on uh, the stories of these tractors. And, uh, you know, some of them, I've got, a, I think it's a sixth generation tractor, might be fifth generation tractor on the same farm, same family. And uh, I want to tell the story of that. That's going to be my first one. It's going to be fun. It's something I've wanted to do for years that I finally might have a platform and ability to be able to do that. So we're going to do that maybe. All right, I'm thinking about just waiting until the end to, to smudge all this together. Think about that. My, my plan back in September, I was going to, uh, I was going to make some Christmas cards. I was going to take some drawings and you know, put some Christmas decorations on, turn them into Christmas cards. But then I procrastinated until today when I realized I never made the Christmas cards and now it's way too late. So maybe for next year, that would be awesome to make some Christmas cards with some of this tractor art on them. I feel like that's something that might people might be interested in. Just, you're not committing anything, but in the comments, let me know. If I was to make Christmas cards, would you be interested in buying them? And 
if you were, what's a fair price? <laughs> I'm not seeing any comments come through on YouTube side. Is anybody over on YouTube? Let me know if you're there. Uh, oh, not too many people in there. Hey, type a comment in there. I've got this new thing I'm trying to see. You can just say, hey, I, you know, here's a comment if you want. I'm just trying to see how the comments come in on this new uh, application I'm using. It'd be awesome if somebody could do that over on YouTube. This is kind of test and tune night. Trying it out. And if you're watching this after today, well, I guess we'll see if it works or not. <laughs> All right. So how's everybody doing? Let me know in the comments how you doing. Where are you from? Those type things. Let's uh, let's get to know each other a little bit. My name's Clem. I'm from uh, originally from Maryland, Northern Maryland. Moved to Pennsylvania for a while, lived there, and then uh, ended up in the Midwest for work. I now live south of Omaha, Nebraska. Beautiful area here, love it. I don't think you could pay me to come back to the East Coast. That's me. Now tell me about you. <laughs> Thanks for the likes there, uh, Farmer Jamie. Appreciate it. It goes a long way, the, uh, the likes on TikTok, from my understanding. I appreciate it. And folks, do me a favor. Subscribe to me on YouTube. It would mean the world to me if you could do that. I'm, as you know, TikTok's not a good platform for artists. As we can see right now, that I'm completely mirrored right now, with no option to not be mirrored. And uh, I'm trying to do as much as I can over there to get that going. Thanks for the follow there, WWEESS. I don't know if that's Wes or Weiss. Appreciate whatever. It is. So I had this idea for this tracing paper, and it's working really good. You can see my outline, and I can still protect it. Um, the one thing I don't like about it, and I can get over this, is it doesn't let me focus as much on one small area. I really like focusing on one small area when I'm drawing. It, uh, just My mind works better that way. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't really let me do that with the tracing paper, because I can see the whole thing. All right, so just looking at this hood, it's kind of faded down here. Half of it's got a little bit of a gray to it, but it's, it's not very dark. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of color in there and I'm gonna go over it heavy with the white. There's gonna be a lot of white in this hood. Oh, that's looking good. Already, and I ain't even smudged. Keep as much white on the top as possible. And lighten it as we go down. What's your favorite type of tractor? Um, I'm very specific. Um, my favorite tractor is uh, 1952 Farmoff Super M. Uh, my dad had one until he passed away. Um, stayed in the family. Brother and I still run a tractor pulling. Um, that tractor has a very unique sound. It's a unique tractor. It has, you know, a lot of the, the features of my dad are, are in that thing. So that's one specific tractor that is just, by and large, my favorite. Um, you know, there's so many tractors. Though, that once I started drawing them, I always grew up on a on a uh, international farm, and uh, you know we had. We had all junk. I mean, my grandfather's farm had anything that you could possibly get 
from an auction. He didn't have anything new except for a Zetter that he bought in 1996. Before that Zetter in 96, the last new tractor on that farm was a 1946, I think it was, Farm Hall B. <laughs> it took quite a few years between uh, between those uh, new tractors. So, but the uh, first tractor I ever drove was a uh, Oliver 5000 and then uh, Oliver 1800 he had on the farm. And uh, he had a couple internationals on there. The newest ones, though, was like a he had a 560 and a 574, I think it was, on there. And uh, all old junk. That's what we farmed with, old junk. Old junk. All right, there we go. Getting some comments over on YouTube. So I've got a new system. For those who just joined, I've got a new system I'm working with here. Uh, to do the broadcast that handles a lot of stuff for me. It puts my chat into the same window and it's the first comments I've seen. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and saying some stuff there that uh, just confirmed to me that the chat is working in this new system. There's a few things you can't test before uh, before you go live. And well, that's one of them is the chat window. So I appreciate that. Thank you there for that uh, Sandra Snow and uh, Roper. How you doing? You been drawing anything lately? I've been slacking. I haven't been drawing nearly as much as I want lately. Of course, you probably noticed that. I had uh, some vacation, and then I got a little bit of burnt out. And uh, well, that's, that brings us up to today when I decided to draw this here John Deere. So far, so good on this thing. It's an interesting piece, I'll say that. Really good reference photo. Whoever took it, very low angle looking up this thing. Uh, the one issue I had with it made it a little bit difficult is it's a great photo because the sun's like washing out the back of it. That doesn't always translate good to great drawing. Um, if you're taking a photo for me to draw from and uh, you want to get my attention, here's what you do. First of all, have a unique tractor, have something that no one else has. That's great. Step two, take a photo right around noon so the light's coming straight down on it. And then uh, the third thing is uh, go low to the ground in the front, just like this one is. If you've seen that uh, uh, 1566 that I did a while back with the uh, white stripe, low to the ground front just makes a beautiful drawing. They're not always the best photos, but drawing wise, they turn out really good. So. Um, like this one here, like I said, it was a great photo. Uh, I washed out some detail in the back, though, in the process of that uh, that low look that looks really good on photos. So that's where we're at right now. All right. <clears throat> This, this tractor is doing its, its purpose. What I wanted was something that wasn't going to take a long time to draw. We've been live now for 18 minutes, three quarters of the way done this thing. That's number one. Um, I wanted to get back in the routine of drawing. It's doing that um, without burning me out too bad. Um, it, it's tough. You know, I, I did a lot of, a lot of tractors in a very short time. And then I uh, got swamp with work and didn't get to spend the time I wanted on these and then I got out of the work swampageness. <laughs> it's just tough to get back to it. You know, I love drawing. I do. And this is very stress relieving. It's the reason that I do this. As my dog gives a big sigh from under the table. <laughs> Doing good. Just got done with a custom piece of some people's 
I think that's a house. It says hose. I assume it's a house in watercolor. Well, that's cool. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah, I, uh, let's see, I've drawn, I drew two pickup trucks for people for Christmas. And I drew uh, two pulling tractors. I drew a, um, I'm going to say business establishment. I don't want to give away because the person that uh, I drew it for might be here. Uh, it's, a, it's an established a business. Um, think like an old school Main Street one-off business looking place. That's cool. That was a Christmas project for someone. And I did another truck. Done a few tractors, for regular farm tractors for Christmases. And now I'm drawing this John Deere because it looked cool. I think I'm done with Christmas drawings. I don't really have any more in me for this year. Um, I had more than I wanted. I took on more than I wanted. And uh, most of them were for friends. You know, they call up and, you know, good people, good friends, and they're like, hey, can you draw this XYZ for me? And, uh, you know, I did. <laughs> Against my better judgment, I took on a lot. It's just good to be back now to doing it again. All right, let's get rid of the uh, tracing paper here for a little while. Come back to that. All right, for those over on YouTube who've been in my lives before, how's the sound quality? Is it better, worse, or the same as it was before? Um, I, I switched up. I've been, before I was using a, a desktop, like conference call microphone. And I switched up to the lapel mic here today. It's not a very high quality lapel mic, but in the test that I did beforehand, it sounded amazing. It's like so much better than, than the desk mic. So let me know if it sounds better or worse. FYI. House, autocorrect. Yeah, autocorrect um, is not friendly to me either. <laughs> Autocorrect tries to correct me sometimes when it's wrong. <laughs> Ever done that? Everybody's done that, I'm sure, right? All right, so back here's where we're getting into that spot where it's kind of washed out. And I hope it turns out. We'll see if it turns out. But I've lost a lot of details in the, uh, the washout of the sun coming in. Like I said, beautiful picture. Beautiful picture doesn't always translate to... To, uh, beautiful drawing so lost a lot of detail in here and uh, now we'll see see how it does all right down in here I'll be all black all right so anybody who's just joining didn't catch the early on stuff normally by now I'd be using my shader and I'd be shading as I go the last time I did a drawing. I tried to uh, just scribble the whole thing and then shade it after it was done. And it created a, a, in my mind at least, it made it so that I wasn't focused so much on uh, anything except for the detail that would be in there. And it really worked out good for me. And uh, I'm just trying that again. I've never done this on a live. I'm not sure how it looks or how it's going to look, but. The cool thing was when I was done, you come to the end and you're like, oh, there it is, the whole thing. And like the last five minutes is just quite amazing. <clears throat> Why don't you draw the background? Uh, long story short, I do draw some backgrounds. It's got to be the right background. Um, and backgrounds can be tough. Uh, if you've seen my one I did of the 1755 Oliver with the New Holland baler behind it, uh, the tractor took about an hour to draw. The hay field that it was sitting in took about seven hours to draw. I like drawing tractors. I don't like drawing hay fields. <laughs> um, so I will, for the right price, I will draw a background. Um, but it's going to be the right price, the right picture, and uh, it's not something that I do for fun. It's something that I would do for money because I just, like I said, I don't like drawing 
Drawing backgrounds is not my thing. Um, drawing tractors, that's my thing. <laughs> so, I've drawn a few backgrounds. And I tell you, every one of the backgrounds I've drawn, I'm, I don't regret it because I, I, I think they turn out amazing when I do it. And each one stretches me just a little bit. So, that's, that's why. It's a great question, by the way. Great question. I don't sell too many drawings. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things where I do this for fun, not for money. I've, I've done a few for Christmas, and I don't regret doing that either. But uh, most of it's just for fun. Next year, though, I want to try to get into doing some prints and actually selling some of my stuff. If anybody's interested, just uh, let me know, because uh, I can let you know when that comes out. Okay, so we're coming to that point now where I think I'm going to start shaping pretty far in. It's a good looking tractor, but it's not great. People on TikTok think it looks great because they've got a blurry picture that doesn't look good at all. The folks on YouTube are looking at it like, oh, that's ugly. All right, so I'm going to find a blending stump here. Got one right here. It's got a little bit of a blue tip to it. I think I was shading with some blue on it. And I'm just going to start somewhere, doesn't matter where, just start working out. Now, if I've done my job right on the, uh, the coal and the pastel that I've put down, all I should have to do is just kind of go with the flow, and the drawing should come out. This is, everybody thinks the shading is like the amazing part, and it does look amazing, but in reality, if I've put my coal down in the right places, all I'm doing is just scribbling over top of this. And this is the part where people, this is the part where people actually, I think, would get excited to see. I might split this off into a separate YouTube video later. We'll see. Like that. There it is. Front tire. Boom. Roasted. I mean, <laughs> boom, done. <laughs> um, nothing to that around here I'm just sometimes I'm letting a little what uh, putting a little more pressure down or taking some pressure out depending on what I'm going for but mostly just kind of scribbling over it the shadows I want real nice soft edges it's gonna be tough to do so I might hit that in a little bit a little bit easier um, up here just want to make sure that white edge stays in there I'll keep the white edge on the top of this Like I said, if I did my work though, I can go really fast on this and uh, not lose anything. I'm going to keep a few lines through here so you can kind of see the radiator, radiator, however you pronounce it. This was a plaque on the front of the tractor that had the guy's name on it that owned it. I took the uh, artistic liberty to remove the name, mostly because I, I just don't like drawing names. I don't like lettering. One of my least favorite things to do. Get rid of this now. Just keep my hand up as much as I can off of it. There are a lot of different things in backgrounds and vehicles, and vehicles are a lot more sharp and detailed and landscape and flowy. That's right. For sure.
Mm -hmm. Alright, it's coming together pretty good. Engine compartments are one of my favorites. Uh, you just kind of follow some basic shapes around in here. Um, I've added very little detail in here. Just enough detail that you can see there's detail. Um, your eyes fill in the rest. It's kind of an optical illusion. One that I absolutely love doing. Um, there's just there's not much there. A few lines. If you look closely, it's just a few lines. If you don't look closely, it really looks like it's very detailed. The trick to drawing really well is to figure out what details to leave out, not necessarily what details to put in. I feel like that's where I've exceeded over the last several years. Tell me this, what does VOH FYI and VOI FYI mean? No idea what that means. I assume it's probably some sort of a scam or something that's in there. Never heard it before, never seen it before. Two people comment it, so let me make sure. It's not important. This thing's coming together pretty good. Is it legal to draw a John Deere while you're wearing an international hat? Because I'm wearing an international hat and shirt right now. I just realized that. Everybody still with me? Let me know if you're still here. Also, let me know if you left. <laughs> That's a dumb joke right there. Terrible. Thanks for the likes there, uh, Dang Gregory and Harris come Cunningham. Appreciate it. Appreciate the likes on TikTok. Appreciate the subscribes, follows thumbs ups or ringing the bell, whatever the heck you all do on YouTube. Yep, still here, good. Glad to hear it. All right, Roper, what should I draw next? I've got a farm all I'm about to draw in the next day or so. What should I draw after that? Tell me that. Give me some ideas. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Blew your eardrums out with a cough. I just saw my uh, microphone peak to 100% when I did that. Another one coming on here too. I'm going to try to hold out. 
All right, what did I miss? I think it looks pretty good. Let's see if I can find an eraser here quick. Clean up some of these edges. Love this eraser. Mono Zero, one of my favorite erasers ever. Very good at drawing erase lines. Makes your edges a little sharper. Makes it look good. I am missing my needed eraser. Hopefully it's in this pencil case. Yeah, there it is, but I'll use this anyway. These uh, gummy erasers are amazing for taking big areas and cleaning it up. This is what I'm doing right now. Clean, good and clean. Clean enough. So I'm not sure if you can tell, this is tan paper. I've been using tan paper lately. I really love the way this tan paper looks. Um, it just, all in all, makes great. A gleaner combine. John Deere 3020 with farm hand loader. If you like the idea, I can send you a pic through email. I mean, I'm open to it. If you got a good picture, it'll save me some time. <laughs> and I broke a point off of this pencil. Okay. Okay. There it is. We're done. With that, I think. I'm going to end my YouTube stream. Appreciate you guys stopping by. I'll be over live on TikTok for just a few more minutes. And uh, if y'all want to stop in and say hi, feel free. That's all I got. Thank y'all for stopping by. Catch you later.